we are recommending that people do orchard sanitation of one sort or another every year. And the one sort or another would be either flail chopping or applying urea. And uh, of those things, probably the least expensive is doing the flail chopping. Um, but uh, urea, you can do relatively easily. I think uh, we've been thinking of that as a ground application to leaves that have already fallen off the tree, but a fall application when leaves are on the tree just before they're ready to fall is going to be more effective and is probably easier to do for growers. So we think that's a, 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 a definite thing to, to plan for as part of an annual uh, management plan for scab and other diseases. The benefits you get reduce chances of resistance development. Uh, it makes it so that mistakes or long wetting periods or things that would might otherwise uh, start some scab going in an orchard uh, are much less likely to happen because there's not enough inoculum there to, to make it go. So we, as I said, highly recommend that. Uh, another thing that I think is an every year deal is uh, putting on a copper spray. And I would like to see that go on the entire orchard, uh, first and foremost to knock down fire blight inoculum, but also because it can act as a, uh, your first fungicide of the, of the year going on at about, uh, say, uh, silver tip to green tip. And that is a spray that gives you multiple benefits uh, and, and should go out there. Uh, another um, thing that I, I think people need to really pay attention to is putting a, a broad spectrum protectant in every spray. By that I mean Captan or Mancoseb and that includes even if you've got already a premix like a Luna or a Marivon, uh, I still think you've got to put the broad spectrum in there in order to do resistance management. And then finally, I, I think people have to be aware that formulations of all sorts of pesticides are changing and that we need to uh, be aware that there are things uh, in insecticides that may be work like oil to interact with captan to cause fruit and tree damage. So you get phytotoxicity when captan gets into the tissue. And if you have oils uh, and spreader stickers, then these will tend to carry captan in. And, and we're seeing more and more of these uh, sometimes serious phytotoxicity problems when you get a tank mix of four, five, six, seven materials, one or two or three of which may help captain get into a, a plant. So you have a choice. One thing would be to just avoid captan, say, from about pink on through first or second cover and just stay away from it because those are the most complicated sprays. Uh, or otherwise, play cl pay close attention to whether there might be an interaction problem with captan.